When we bought this farm, some gullies were obvious candidates for land use change. No amount of mitigation was going to turn this into good grazing land. So we have kept all the easy land for farming and committed the rest of our farm to an experiment in native continuous cover forestry. This involves turning eroding hillsides into native forest, then managing that forest for all of its proven ecological and biodiversity benefits. But in addition to those, we're developing a high quality native timber resource. And we hope that when we get too old to manage this place, some other eco-minded forestry enthusiast will enjoy living here and continuing the work we have begun. So that one day, the owners of this land will have the option of earning income from sustainable native forestry. The way Paul Quinlan and Lee Legler currently do in Northland. Using small-scale, low-impact harvest techniques. The green shading on our farm map shows the extent of our native forest plantings. This is all legally protected and can never be clear felled. But selective harvest is permitted under strict conditions from 2071. Low impact harvest will require good access. And having a good track network from day one makes forest management easier. Good access also enables public education and recreation. Being at the very top of two water catchments means when it comes to freshwater protection, the buck starts with us. Mature forests act like a sponge, slowing water flow during heavy rain events and reducing flooding downstream. Once established, the root systems of our planted forest will help prevent slips like this one in July 2022. Planting these gullies also connects isolated bush fragments into larger, more ecologically valuable tracts of forest habitat. The value of a plantation forest is generally considered to reach its peak when all of the trees are lying down. In contrast, Continuous cover forestry recognises that a standing forest is vastly more valuable than the sum of its trees. The forester provides protection from introduced browsers and ensures that the overall forest ecosystem remains healthy. If they do their job well, they can carefully extract a small number of trees on a regular or semi-regular schedule as a reward for their ongoing stewardship or kaitiakitanga. This is similar to a bee being paid with nectar to pollinate a flower, or a tree offering fruit so that birds will distribute its seeds. Perhaps this is why continuous cover forestry is often called close to nature forestry.